liquid rubber DIY. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to waterproof a retaining wall. Here to show what we're going to lay our geofabric over. So you're going to, by law, you've got to put 150mm geo in the wall floor join. But we're going to put another piece above it to cover all this sort of cracks and holes. So step one is applying the geo fabric. making sure you get all the crinkles out so it's all lays nice and flat. We're only laying this other 300mm geo in as the bottom layer of the Besser brick mortar had holes and cracks everywhere. So to be sure, geo it. rubber DIY here again show you a little uh, secret to putting a geo fabric around a pipe so I've cut the geo pre-made piece slider over the top as you can see the little bits around the side now we're gonna grab our waterproof sealant This is all stage one, the wall floor join, or we call it detailing, followed by two to three coats over the next day. Uh, thick, as we're building up a two mil membrane, 1.5, two mil. There we go. We'll show you tomorrow. That's got double layer geo. GO 150 in the wall floor join. Always do the wall floor join. At least uh, half of the 150 being onto the footing and the rest of the 
half of the 150 75 mils going up the wall. We'll see you tomorrow. Hi, liquor rubber DIY stage two. We're gonna spray the wall and back roll it. So this is first coat and uh, with back rolling it works it into all the little holes uh, so we usually back roll it once and then the final coat second coat will be uh, sprayed just off the gun and left if you don't have a spray gun you can uh, easily roll two coats on the first coat we like to go up and down on the second coat with the roller we go sideways left to right Just giving it a coat, the gun, spray gun, and then we've back rolled it. As you can see, the roller lines, that's what you're looking for. So, this is uh, applying the rapid cure spray just from a weed sprayer. A little demonstration of what the rapid cure spray does. As you can see, my hand is clean. If I touch the wall, comes off, different hand, clean hand, touch the wall, doesn't come off, it's rapid cured. You don't have to use the rapid cure spray it actually you can do a coat per day um, and it's totally the same but in a sort of commercial spray application some jobs we need to get in and out in the one day so if you do the wall floor join with the geo give it a light coat of ca uh, rapid cure spray An hour later you can spray the whole wall um, and back roll it and apply the rapid cure spray and then after lunch you can spray another coat and the rapid cure spray followed by that and it's all done ready for core flu 72 hours later or a protection board installed 72 hours later as you can see the rapid cure sprays been applied a little bit of rapid cure spray run down the wall so you don't want to touch your brush back on that until all of the water is evaporated or dry if you do touch your brush on it it'll just go hard and you have to throw your brush in the bin and grab a new one so we'll see you back here shortly after lunch for the final coat Thanks for watching. Okay, this is to show what we're looking for after the first coat. We're looking for these sort of things, or sort of like that little suspicious area. 
So we're gonna have our pre pre cut piece in that little suspicious area. We're gonna put that over like that. Boom. That'll be this piece here. That's gonna go over there. So you might end up with 20 or 30 of them over the wall after the first coat. But all these areas are all the suspicious that need a piece of geo put over the top. Okay, so when it's all flat, you don't want crinkles like that. And it's all nice and flat. spraying so excuse my fingers okay patched liquid rubber DIY we're gonna show you how to do second coat applied by the spray gun see the, the nice smooth finish more floor join sort of that orange peel look you're after now if we were if we were going to be rolling it not spraying it because we did the first coat roll it up and down this coat would be going left and right so the two coating the two different coats become cross hatched you'll notice that it starts chocolate brown and once it's cured It'll be gloss black. So this is two coats. Um, we can go three coats, four coats, five coats. Just keep building it up to as thick as you want, but we recommend um, two liters per square meter. Then you end up with about a 1.5 mil dry film thickness. Now we've got the commercial uh, rapid cure sprayer today instead of um, using the weed sprayer we're gonna um, use the commercial sprayer show you how it all works so it's, it's not necessary to use this but if you're in uh, commercial doing big jobs you want to put another coat on today it's and if it does rain um, this will it won't wash down the drain it'll, it'll be cured within seconds so it'll turn from brown to black over the next hour all them runs is just the uh, rapid cure spray mist it over it again I'll show you hand Boom. here's a dried piece of the liquid rubber DIY waterproof sealant 
just to show you how much it actually stretches. It's 1800% elongation. So as you can see that piece. And that'll go back to the same size. 